My name is Bob Kisula, the National Director for World Vision DRC. I'm talking to you from Gisenyi at the border of Rwanda and DRC. I'm on this side because yesterday they closed Goma Airport and therefore we could not land. We had to come through Gisenyi. And only after arrival, uh, a few hours, there was heavy bombing and uh, we had to take cover after that. What is m more important is not what is happening to me, but I want you to understand the situation of the security situation here is getting worse than ever. I've been here for the last three years plus. It has never come to this level. Today, we have so many people that have already left their homes running for their lives. Children and women are on the run. Um, our staff, we have over 100 staff with their families living in this context. I've just gotten report from one of our staff that one of the bomb fell just two parcels from where she stays with her family and people have already been hurt. We don't know how many people have died so far. So we are in this kind of a situation. Um, we are mobilizing our response. We've developed our plan, third day response plan. We are mobilizing resources from within and from without to respond. But I feel the critical point here is whether even we will have the opportunity to respond. Uh, going by what has happened, Yesterday there was heavy fighting and there was a promise that there was a ceasefire as people go to Kampala and the assurance we had this morning is that there were discussions following the intervention by the UN Security Council. But all of a sudden, as we were in a meeting, we had to take cover. So that's how unpredictable the situation here is. So we have already declared a um, kind of um, hibernation of all our operations at the moment. Most of other NGOs have also evacuated across um, because we don't know what may happen or what is happening. Let me appeal to all of you who could be listening. We have two things that we can do. One, for the immediate response, we'll need support to respond immediately on the issues of non-food items. These are families that have been on the run, they need food. You can even hear fire right now. You can hear fire right now. That's life where I'm standing, my good. I'm not sure whether I can even complete this, um, this interview, but that's live bullet, live fire. So we just have to take off from where I am right now because I'm not sure how safe I am. But the point is, it is me. There are many children, there are many wives, there are many husbands who are going through this. And I'm, I really, everybody is taking cover and I just have to go. So you can hear, oh my. We. No, we can go inside. Yeah, so I have to stop this because we don't know what is happening. We are, we are ourselves evacuating right now. We are evacuating to Kigali, but we have our staff in Goma. We don't know what is happening with them. <coughs> They have, they have children, they have wives, we even have some staff who are here. They can't cross back to Gong. This is exactly what is happening. Thank you for supporting us and standing with us. What you can do from political side, from lobbying, please do for this situation. God bless you.